Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and today we're going to be looking at translucent, at the translucent shader in Blender and uh, create this uh, RGB lighting for the mouse we have created. So uh, this is like a part three in this mouse series. Uh, so if you want to follow along with this tutorial, with this uh, tutorial series, uh, you'll find a link in the description for the playlist of uh, all the videos that are in this playlist. So let's uh, work on the materials. I'll set up this uh, translucent material and uh, see how we can get it to work. So, Underneath this, uh, there is uh, a few lights. Let me get them. Are uh, the few different lights uh, that you can move around. You can see, you can even make some cool animation by just rotating the, the light underneath the surface. And you can also even change its color to change uh, the lighting or even just animate uh, this to get the illusion of animating lights. Yeah, so let's set up this. We could also light up this area here. So I'm just going to give it a separate material. So I'm just going to add a new material and assign it uh, to this side here. Let me just create another file here. Assign it uh, to this side. Let me select. This side, let's uh, exclude parts of this. That saying that this is what we have. Let's start with uh, the base color, uh, which is a dark color, dark surface, like that. And I added a noise texture just for some extra details and uh, had this as my roughness. Just have to uh, bring the scale quite a bit down. And uh, I don't want uh, to have that harsh contrast, so I add a hard, so I added a car around, like uh, just to make it a little bit less con contrasted, and I added a mark mode here, just to have overall control over the roughness. So I can make it look like uh, actually this looks better, um, like a rubber material, or more of like a plastic surface like that. Now to add in these uh, details here, these translucent details, all you have to do is uh, add, create a new uh, noise texture. Just preview it using Ctrl Shift and then clicking on the node. Let me turn on my shortcuts here. Then I added texture coordinate mapping using Ctrl T. You need to have the node wrangler add-on enabled for that. And then what I did was scale these details. Uh, I used UV mapping. Uh, this is UV, has UVs. As you can see, this tracker has UVs. So I used UV mapping and scaled uh, the noise in one direction, like so. Something like that. Then added a car ramp for contrast just to take out some of the details like that so that we have those streaks of lines uh, like that. But, uh, if you scale the noise up, you will reduce uh, the number of streaks or if you scale this down like that or bring in the contrast, you can have less streaks like that. Now for the cross streaks, all I did was duplicate these Shift D like that, and uh, because we're using using UV mapping, instead of scaling uh, the the X axis, this time we can scale a different axis, and that should uh, give us uh, the cross uh, the cross details. And then to mix this together, uh, you can use different blending modes, or you can use a math node. Uh, let's just go. Uh, with a mix node and you can see we have that just change this to i think add and now we have our streaks and then we can use that as a mask for a translucent shader so if i go to shader translucent uh translucent uh, a translucent shader just lets light go through like that as you can see here uh, let me get a different light so this 
lights as well should be inside like that i think they are too powerful so i'm just going to bring them down a bit yeah so you can see translucent light just lets a bit of light have to go through then i would have to mix you mix uh, these two here you can use the shortcut ctrl shift and then drag from one node to the other uh, to make to add in a mix node like that and then i can drag this and have it as a factor now we should invert uh, these shaders here like that and uh, where you move uh, the light you have an effect so if i change this to something like that you see what we have and uh, the great thing about this is also it also works in cycles so yeah one shader for everything like that the colors of these streaks is dependent on the position of the light and the color of the light but uh, if you don't want that you can just use an immersive color and uh, let me show you how to set that up so if i uh, instead of using the translucent shader we can also use an emission shader i'm just going to switch the translucent for the emission shader like this and now you can see what we have uh, the difference is here the difference here is that uh, uh, these are not getting any color let us increase our value for this so to give them color we can use yet another uh, texture noise texture map and uh, if you go to the color value of other noise texture you can see we get some random colors so if we scale this up quite a lot we can feed this directly into the color value of the emission and you can see we are getting some uh, some colors in, in there but uh, they are not uh, they don't have a lot of saturation so I can add a color hue and saturation between other noise and the emission and just bump up the saturation to something like five yeah and uh, if I scale this up or scale it down this case the same effect we're getting and uh, can increase the strength here and uh, if you want to animate it you can animate the scale or just add a, a, a trans add a mapping node and then animate those coordinates uh, it should give you the same effect so uh, different nodes can give you the same results yeah i don't even, i'm not even sure what is better either to use a translucent shader or uh, i think there isn't a that big a difference between other different shaders yeah i don't see that big of a difference so you can use any that you think is easier or looks better for you thanks for watching